This video will show you how to use Novex antibody pairs to create your own ELISA for measuring the quantity of protein in a sample. Additional materials not supplied in the kit are microtiter plates, tubes, and pipettes. It is important to note before beginning that some protocols differ from the one presented here. Please read and review your protocol carefully before beginning the procedure. The first step is to prepare the capture plates. Using the provided coating buffer, make a capture antibody solution by diluting the capture antibody in the coating buffer. Prepare enough to coat each well with 100 microliters. You may need to determine the optimal capture antibody concentration for plate coating. The suggested concentration is provided in the kit's technical data sheet. After addition of the capture antibody to the wells of the plate, allow the antibody to bind to the plate by incubating it at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for 12 to 18 hours. Next, prepare wash and blocking buffers. Dilute the concentrated buffers with water as indicated in the protocol. Remove the antibody solution and wash the plate either manually by decanting into a basin or with an automated plate washer. Fill each well with 300 microliters of wash buffer and then decant. Remove the wash buffer and block the plate for one hour with 300 microliters of blocking solution per well. After one hour, decant or aspirate the liquid from the plate and remove excess liquid by blotting against absorbent paper. Be careful not to scrape the bottom of the plate with the aspiration needles from the automated plate washer. With the plate ready, we can proceed with a standard curve and sample preparation. A standard protein should be reconstituted to the concentration recommended in the technical data sheet with the recommended assay buffer or a buffer of your choice. Allow 10 minutes for rehydration of the standard. Prepare a seven point standard curve by serial dilution, one to two, according to the technical data sheet. The low standard or zero standard will be the reconstitution buffer alone. Prepare sufficient volume to run each standard in duplicate at 100 microliters per well. Samples may require multiple dilutions to capture signal within the quantitative range of the assay. We recommend diluting one to two in buffer used to prepare the standard curve. Samples should also be run in duplicate. Add standards and samples to the plate and incubate for two hours. It is recommended that you cover the plate and incubate it at room temperature with shaking at 700 RPM. Do this for each incubation step. It is important to note that in some protocols, the samples or standards are co-incubated with a detector antibody. After incubation, remove the standards and samples and wash the plate either manually or with an automated plate washer. Add 300 microliters wash buffer per well and decant or aspirate. Repeat three more times to complete the wash cycle. Prepare the detector as recommended in the technical data sheet by diluting the detection antibody in assay buffer. Then add 100 microliters of the detector antibody to each well containing sample or standard. Incubate the detector antibody for one hour. Next, remove the detector antibody and repeat the wash cycle. Prepare the streptavidin horseradish peroxidase working solution, then add 100 microliters of the HRP solution to each well containing sample or standard. After 30 minutes of HRP incubation, wash away excess HRP and add 100 microliters of the chromogen substrate to each well containing sample or standard. Incubate the plate for 30 minutes at room temperature in the dark. Use 100 microliters of stop solution to terminate the HRP substrate interaction. Read your plate at 450 nanometers absorbance. Thank you.